afternoon. This is Crystal with Crystal's Creations. How are you all doing? I'm good, I hope. Hey, I made a new card, or should I say a card album. I am going to show you all how to do it because I know some friends of mine on Instagram wanted me to show them how to make it. So I'm going to show you all how to make it. So I have everything cut and ready to go. But first, let me show you this one that I made yesterday. I made a Halloween one. Actually, let me move this cord out of my way. As long as I don't die. Uh -huh. um, make sure my phone is still plugged in. I assume so. Anyway, so this is a Halloween one that I did. So it's a seven layer album card. And it has all kinds of fun stuff in it. So um, this one has your first layer. You open it like this. And then you can open it again. Like that. Boom. And then the second layer is just normal like this. Then you close it. Oh, and then here's the third layer. So here I just made a bunch of tags. So I just made a bunch of tags like this, bunch of Halloween tags. So voila. And then I put them in the pockets. So we just cut diagonal pockets, which I still have to make a couple for the Christmas one. And then you just glue them on. And then you shove your little tags or pictures. You can put pictures in here too. It doesn't have to be tags. It could be pictures or whatever you want. And then we go to the next layer. So wait, that was what? Let's see. So this is one. This is two. This is three. No, oh, this is four. So this is the fourth layer. So the fourth layer on the one that I got inspired on Pinterest they had something completely different. It was a pop-up thing. And I was like, no, it, it was too, I, I, I had it made and I, I said, you know what, this isn't gonna work for me and it just wasn't working for me and it kept falling apart and falling apart. And I said, you know what, scrap it. I went and did something completely different and I made some more flip up pockets going one way and one going the other way. So that's what we're going to do. So there you have it. So that's four. This is five. This is six. So five and six are normal. And then here's seven. So seven actually has what you call, what do you call these again? You wrap them around a card. Oh, I would just, I, I was talking to myself about it yesterday. Uh, there, uh, uh, why is it when you go and do a video and you can't remember something? Oh, it'll come to me. It'll, it'll, it'll hit me like a brick on the wall. There, uh, there, uh, oh, poo. There, those belts, those tails, those, <laughs> um, ah, oh well, yeah, whatever those things are called, you put them on here, and they're loose, you just glue them on each on one end, and you can put a decoration on it if you want, and then you can slide pictures and stuff, I just put tags to show you guys how it's done, so, without further ado, let's show you how to do this, so I have pretty much everything cut and ready to go, so, before we do that, I'm going to tell you guys the directions <laughs> so I don't fail that. Okay, so your first layer, your first card layer, the one on the bottom, is going to be a 6 by 12 card base, and you're going to score it at 6. And then you're going to cut a 5.5 by 11 and then you're going to score it at five and a half. And then you're going to cut another one, five by ten. Score it at five. Cut another one at four and a half by nine. Score it at four and a half. 
cut another one, four by eight, score it at four. Score another one at, or no, cut. Don't score a bunch of times, cut. I can't get scoring off the brain. You're gonna cut first, then score, okay? So if you can see this, you can actually do the screenshot. So this is actually called a pyramid album card. And it was inspired by somebody that I saw on Pinterest. So I do not get full credits for this. This other gal on Pinterest does. Um, but cut. Okay. You cut all these sizes. So where are we? You cut four and a half by nine. And then you score at four and a half. Cut four by eight. Then score at four. You cut three and a half by seven. Score at three and a half, cut three, but or score, cut, uh, 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 now it's not hand cam it. Okay, cut at three by six, score at three. <laughs> okay, and then this is where it gets tricky. <laughs> you are going to need, let me get the Halloween one again, because this is where I'm going to forget. You're going to need two. Five by three and fourth, five and three fourths. God, now I can't talk. Numbers. Uh, math. Me and math. Hey. Two, five by three, two, five and three fourths of these to go on the six by twelve card base. Okay. And then. On the second card that is glued on the Halloween one, you're gonna need two five and a quarter by five and a quarter. Just cut two of everything, okay? I'm just gonna tell you. And then if there's any other special instructions, I'll tell you after that. And if you cut too much, you cut too much. That's okay. So two five and a quarter by five and a quarter, two four and three fourths by four and three fourths, two four and a quarter by four and a quarter, Ugh. two three fourths by three fourths, two three and a quarter by three and a quarter, and two three fourths by two and three fourths. Does that sound good? Okay, got that, and I will type that up in my description box down below. So if you miss anything, it'll be down below in the description box. Down, down there, in case you can't see my hand. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside. <sighs> so I'm gonna get, I have all my stuff cut here. So I have all my pattern paper here cut. I got the new safe freeze earlier. And now I have my card bases, so. I'm actually gonna go off my measurements and we're gonna do some scoring. This time I'm gonna make sure that you guys can see what I am doing. So I wanna make sure that you guys can see. So I have my six by 12. So I'm gonna score it as six. So I'm going with a different color because this is a Christmas one. So, and I always do it three times. I don't press too hard. And I fold like so. Okay. Then I'm gonna set that one aside. Then I'm gonna grab the second biggest one. This one is 11, right? Five and a half by 11. And we're going to score this one at five and a half, right there where I have it marked, because that's usually where I do all my scoring, anyways, <laughs> for cards. Let's see. Can we turn that on? Can you guys see better now? Sorry about that. Sorry about the 
low light. I thought having put these new light bulbs in my light behind me would make it easier to see. They're the long lasting 96 cent a year light bulbs and they last for about 22 years. So we shall see, but they're really bright too. But now without my desk light on, I noticed it's not quite as bright. My head seems to be blocking the light. So I guess I do need that desk light. Okay, so now this one is the five by 10. So we're gonna score this one at five. Okay, and, oh. okay, and then the four and a half by nine, and we're going to score at four and a half. So four and a half is right there. by eight. So now we're going to score this one at four. Yeah, I saw this on Pinterest the other day and I was like, oh, I bet I can make that. This pyramid, I, there's like two different versions of one where you can open one and you open it inside and there is more stuff on the inside of it, but I couldn't find the directions on how to do it and I couldn't find her video. So I was like, well, I guess I wasn't meant to make that one, so I'll just stick with this one. Now we have a, uh, what's this one? Three and a half by seven, so we're gonna score it three and a half right here. And don't ask why I keep flipping my scoring tool. I just do. Especially when I do it three times, so that way I know I've done it three times. Just a habit, I guess. Okay, and then the last one, three by six, and then we're gonna score at three. This is our seventh layer. So this will be our top there. And I can set my scoreboard aside. Actually, no, I have to score something else. A couple more things here that we're gonna insert into our album. So actually, the top layer, and I'm not so sure that I cut some stuff for this. So, what we're gonna do, is that the same size on all four sides? Let's see. Okay, so that's gonna be on that side. So we're gonna put it on this side. Okay, so we're gonna score it at a, this dot, but right before a half an inch. So I'd say about, Right here where this dot is, about a quarter of an inch, or an eighth, well, a quarter. That's usually where I go, I think. That's where I go. That way I have enough to put my tape, double-sided tape, or glue, if you prefer glue. Okay. I think I'm gonna use glue this time. I'm gonna use my Burley Arts glue and see if that doesn't work better. Okay, you have that one. And then we're gonna do this one right here too, right here where that little line and the little dot is. And then I have two more bigger ones to measure. And I believe that one's going on level, we're gonna 
gonna put that at level, let's see. What level is this one going on? I think it's going on level five. This might be level four. Four or five, I think. I'm not sure which, but we're gonna do this one too. So this one, since this one's a little bit bigger, I would make this one over here, the little line, which I think is about a quarter of an inch, right before the halfway mark. Okay. do the same thing with this one because I'm going to put this scoreboard down and I don't want to have to pick it up again. So I'm just going to get it all done and over with and we are done. So I'm just going to fold this over and the scoring. Okay. I may have to cut a little bit here and there but let's hope not. Okay. This time I want to make sure you guys can see me. Okay, so I am going to, what is that thing called again? Just so you guys can see what I'm doing. You guys can either decorate your stuff first and then add at the end, or you can put your album card, pyramid card together first and then decorate. Um, I had everything put together first yesterday and then started decorating. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna decorate everything first and then put it together. So I think I'm gonna start with the first one, the smallest one here. So let's, let's do this one. So let's do the smallest layer here. And let's grab these guys. And we're gonna use our Halloween one so I can use it as a guide. Because, yeah, so I see what I did. Okay, okay. So I forgot to cut two extra sizes for this. So what we're gonna do is we have this white, we're gonna attach it to this. Oh, you know what? Oh, I should have scored it. I scored it on the wrong side. See, that always happens to me. I always score it on the wrong side. I scored it on the wrong side of the paper. See, that's okay. Mistakes happen. I'm not perfect. But we can fix it, right? Ah, of course. So, we're just going to fix it. So, we're going to go on the long side. Okay. There we go. Now let's fix this one. Something was telling me long side too, and I wasn't listening. Okay. So, it's okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take, instead of using my double sided tape, because I noticed in the Halloween one towards the end there, the tape was coming off and I'm like, no. So we have our tape on. Since it doesn't take much tape or much glue, I should say, not tape on. Okay. So you guys can see, I'm gonna put this on the end here. 
the floppy. Okay, uh, glue is so much better. Okay, and I got this one. on that little flappy and then we're gonna do the same thing okay so there should it just fold in like that okay now, I'm going to take, this should go in here, and that should go there. So, I will show you guys. This took a hole, pretty much cutting up everything, took a whole 6x6 six six book of Savory's. like so you just kind of put it in the middle doesn't have to be perfect you can always add washi tape and stuff and other decorations on there which I probably will go through and do that too So I am going to have to probably use scraps, but I will do the rest of this stuff later because then you'll have to glue it onto this part, the second layer. So we have to glue it onto this second part. So now with this second one, we're just going to decorate the insides of this. So we're going to put our paper in here. So let's make sure I have this correct. Okay. All right. Now in case you guys can't see me, I'm just putting glue on the paper. Okay, now I'm putting this down. Okay, and then glue this one. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to take, we're going to glue this, because we're not putting cardstock, decorative cardstock on this one or designer series papers or whatever you want to call it on this at all, or on this side for that matter. Okay. Okay. We 
too, so that should still open it up like that. So I will still decorate these, this one, this side, but I'll probably do that after camera. Okay, so we got that one. Okay, so now let's do our, let's see, one, two, third layer. So our one, two, our third layer actually gets some pockets, so triangle pockets. So let me see here. I don't know if I have much left of this. Nope. So I am going to have to use, um, let me see. Do I have anything left of this stuff left to make a triangle pocket that will fit after I get this on? So let's go ahead and do this first. I'll hold that thought. Let's get our blue snowflakes on. And then we'll worry about the pockets after that. So let's do that first. I was just trying to think, or I could use glittered cardstock. I might have enough glittered stuff. I could probably do that too. Okay, now we're gonna take this. And it's okay if it's not 100%, completely 100% centered. I try to get it centered, but I know I'm not exactly what you call 100% centered. But uh, and You guys don't have to use glue. You don't want to you can always use your scotch tape or other tape if you want to use tape you can do that too um, okay so now we're going to take this side this to the next space. These you want to make sure that you get them as even as you can because you want it to look nice. Okay. Okay. So now Let's do our pockets real quick, okay? But that, I just, it's not big enough for pocket. So let me look over here real quick. I have glittered cardstock, so I'm over here, so if you can't hear me. I have some glittered stuff here real quick. Dark blue. Let's do that. That's cool. Let's just use that. So let's measure this real quick. Um, so what was this one? This was the third one. What did I say this one was? Let's see, one, two, three, third one up. One, two, three. So this is four by eight. So I, right, 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 right. Let's see if we're right. Yep, four. So we need a four, a four by four square cut in a triangle. Oh, did I? No, you're the fifth level. Okay, so make sure. Okay, 
So let's do that real quick. So let's put this out of the way. So I need my uh, paper trimmer. And then we're gonna go, let's just make sure, we'll just cut this at the four line. Just about perfect. Oh, oops, I'm not done with that yet, am I? I gotta cut that triangle, I'm sorry. Okay, so now we're gonna take this and we're gonna cut a triangle like so. It's weird, one side is pointy, one side not so pointy. I don't know why, it always seems to Fail me. You see that? How oh, this side is not very pointy on one end, but this side is. That's weird. All right, let's make sure this is going to fit. Okay, so this is going to be a pocket. And let's make sure this is going to fit. And this is going to go on the other side. Okay, there we go. So you're just gonna put glue on this side, not at the top though. And you're gonna put it on the edge. Okay. And then And that is your pocket. Come on, stick, stick. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing to this side. touch the glue while I turn it around. That way make sure I'm on the paper and not on my desk. Yep. Okay, you have a pocket. And here you have a pocket. Okay, so now we're going to take this layer. And before we glue that on to this, let's get our paper into this one. And that we have, ouch, 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 ouch. Okay. All right, make sure I didn't trip. So now, before I did I, because I thought I cut stuff for this too. Now I don't remember if I did or not. Thought I did. Oh, that's okay. So for this, yes, this is that one. Okay. So let me wipe my blue thing off. Okay. Yeah, if you guys get a chance, you'll have to get the new Safe Freeze for this year. But for unfortunately though, Michaels does not have the new 12 by 12s in yet. 
And I should call them and they have them. That would be great, because then you guys get lucky and you get the new 12 by 12 in, but I don't know when they're gonna get the new 12 by 12 in yet. Uh, they are way behind. Orders, stocks, or truck supplies. <laughs> You know, when I was there last time, right before my 50th birthday, they were, their store was looking bare. Because so I wanted to get in on that buy one, get two free sale for their 12 by 12 hot by Michael's stuff. And their, oops, make sure you put this upside right, not upside down. But I wanted to get their. Uh, I wanted to wanted to get the twelve by twelve safe freeze as part of the buy one get two free deal. And they wouldn't give me a rain check. And I was like, why not? <laughs> I mean, that should be part of customer service, you know. If I if I was a manager of a store or I owned a store or a business like that, I would give them a rain check because I think that's only right. Just saying. But that's what I would do. Because it's not my fault as a customer, as, as customers, it's not our fault that, our, that those things are not in yet. And I know it's not their fault either. Oh, did I put these on the right paper? I probably didn't, did I? <sighs> did I? I don't know if I did. Now I can't tell. Oh well. If I didn't, that's okay. No, they, no, never mind. This was not cut out of a 12 by 12 cardstock, so never mind. This was all cut out of a six by six, so they were all cut out of an individual piece. So never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about, so ignore me. <gasps> Can I still see that? <sighs> I think I moved, or the thing moved. So you guys go on the next one up or do you go on this one see now I don't remember why I cut these or which one you're supposed to go on and I think I did cut you for this one I did I did cut you for this one <gasps> yep I did guys I did I did cut it for this one because this one is a little bit smaller how I cut it smaller for this size so that's what we're gonna do. So, this is, let me tell you what size this is. I think I failed to tell you what size this was. So I am so sorry. So before we get any further, so this size is, oh gosh, is, Four and a quarter, I do believe, by four and a quarter. That's how I made it. So I did two of these at four and a quarter by four and a quarter because I didn't want this to overlap this because I was having issues with this one in here. Oh, where is it? Is it this one where I had it opening? Yeah, this one. It was this one where I had it opening where I just felt like it was too big. <laughs> Stuck out too much. So, and I should have, and this is the one that's coming off, and I should have put it on first before I put my cardstock on. So... You want to make these two four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And this is your, let's see, hold that thought. So this is one, this is two, this is three. This is your fourth level. 
Okay, so fourth level. Okay, so this is fourth level. So I should have, and I forgot to take that off, but I don't feel like starting all over again. So we are not doing that again because I don't have any more paper and I am not ripping my paper off. So, so now with this, we are gonna put this one on the bottom, okay? I'm so sorry, guys. I'm gonna have to cover these cute little snowmen. I am so sorry. That's okay, I have a strip left. I can cover the strip with my cardstock. It's okay. Okay. And then I might have some other paper that I could use to cover this up with. Because <laughs> I'm gonna have to. Because <laughs> I forgot to cut for this. And then with this one, it's gonna go at the top, like so. So let's do that. So let's get this glued. Oh. It's called a banner belt. A banner. A banner. I just figured it out, y'all. So I gotta flip it this way because I'm a lefty. And sometimes, you know, lefties do things backwards than righties. So I have to have it facing me so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Over a little bit. Over. So we're away from the crack. Away from that full line. There we go. Okay. You guys can still see. I'm glad I watch my videos before I upload them. <laughs> like that last video that I did the other day. I was like, oops. I didn't mean to do most of that video off the video because I forgot to up it. So, oops. Okay, so now we're going to take this and I'll finish the rest of that part offline. Okay, so now we're going to take this and we're going to glue this on. And make sure I glue the right side of the card, glue the wrong side of the card, and then we got problems. Okay, now we're going to flip it, looks pretty good, and I actually have some cardstock for the top of this actually, so I think I know what I'm going to use for the top, a snowman with a uh, thing. So that's that level. So now let's take our next level. So this is five, right? Yep. Should be five. Oh, wait. Wait, I still have plenty of levels left. How do I have so many levels? This, hold on guys. We have, let's see, this is for level seven. This is for level six. This is for level five. Oh, I see what I did wrong. I did do that one for level five. Cause these are the same size. Oh, 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 oh. Well, you know what? We'll just make those smaller. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Let's see, which one's the top? That will make the snowflakes the top. Okay, this is getting harder to glue. These things get bigger and bigger. Okay, 
Okay, so you can't see what I'm doing. I'm just gluing my cardstock here. Kind of hard for me to hold it. Okay. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to put this beautiful red snowflake cardstock down. Yeah, I was looking at that and I'm going, why do we have two of the same things for the fifth element? Ooh, that's crooked. Oh, that's crooked. Oh, no, no, no. We are not going to go crooked that bad. going so crooked today people come on card why okay that's better much better there we go Ugh. I don't think it was liking me today I know, it's beautiful hot cocoa mugs. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure all of you are going, why are you doing that to that beautiful? Do you guys ever do that? I do that. When I see somebody gluing on something on a beautiful piece of cardstock on one side, I'm like, why are you not using that side? That side's so pretty. Use that side, the other side instead. Or glue the other side down. I do that a lot because I like the other side the other person is using instead of the side that they're using. It's like, I don't want to use that side, use the other side. It's like, yeah, I do that quite often. But I like, I like them both, but it's like, you want both of these to match. There. Hey, you guys look pretty good. Side by side. Okay. All right, that's layer five. Okay, let's get this on. Go. no dog hair or anything odd or my hair okay that looks good yeah but this all oh, mostly white I did not have any I don't have any 12 by 12 white so I had to go with a uh, green, um, metallic green. So that is what I did. So now let's go to layer six. So let me make sure I get these points set aside. This is the other side. So it's green and white, green, red, and white candy cane stripe, but I am not using that side. I'm using the point set aside. This one has poinsettias and hollies. Okay, let's do that side, do it that way. I wanna make sure I do it correctly. Let's do it with the leaves side up. There we go. Okay. Now. So it's supposed to possibly snow or something to have to cover my fall mums that are outside growing. Actually, they've already been blooming, but I'll have to cover them. Oh, 
that's the part about living in Colorado. You never know when you're gonna when it's gonna freeze. But we have a freeze warning, so it's like so. Yesterday, my husband got our faucets covered and. prepped and ready for that now. So we're getting our first freeze warning for tonight. So. I'm not sure where you guys are at, where you're at, if you guys are getting close to freeze warnings yet. Okay, does that look good? So, let's see, looks good. Good. What time is it? Ouch. Let's see. Sorry about that. You know. Oh, it's only 3.50. Okay, good. I just wanted to see what time it was because I was going to make dinner here pretty soon. I'm going to make pancakes for dinner, so I wanted to make sure it wasn't past my time here, but we're almost done here. Whoops. Let's not glue this down before we're ready. Okay, we are almost to the clothing stretch, at least where I can show you how. I knew I'd finally get the name of that belt thing, the banner, banner thing, <laughs> the banner. That we put around cards. It's like, duh. It's like, I knew that. Okay, let me make sure I'm putting this on right. Okay. I suppose you could do a layer of these and do your sprays if you wanted to. You can probably even do your stenciling on them and do stenciling and do your, um, uh, like your, uh, what is it, like this stuff here, like your lunar paste and stuff like that. I have one lunar paste. Actually, I have. I have Gina K stuff too that you spread on stencils, glitter glitz gels. I have some of those too, but I only have the glitter glitz. I have a gold glitter glitz and then the rest are neon bright that go with uh, um, Rena K's fruits, her fancy fruits. I don't have like uh, the other stuff but I do have sprays though I have some mica sprays now that I finally realize they're called mica not mica I don't know why I call them mica <laughs> dorky me I guess I always have to call them something different <laughs> but Okay, so now we're gonna glue this layer on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't fall out, don't fall out. Okay. We're putting this on. I suppose it might make it easier for some of you to maybe put it together first. I mean, have this put together first before you decorate it. It was pretty easy to decorate after I had it put together. So I just thought I'd try it and do it this way and see what was easier. So, but I don't know. Okay, I think I'll do it this way. Like that. The 
this one up. That one up. Okay. I know green snowflakes. I don't need. Arts glue, that's what I use. I call it the best crafty glue around because this stuff, I think you can ship it in the cold. I'm not for sure, 100%. I know the glitter glue stuff you cannot. Barely Arts glue, I don't know 100% sure if you can ship that in the cold or not, actually. I know it doesn't work very good on my, uh, what do I use? I use um, the really thick, what do I use for acetate? I use um, the really thick, uh, really thick plastic, filing plastic folder things, inserts. I use those for my acetate sheets. And they work great. And I can also use them for cards too. But I need to put more glue in here. I'm getting low. Okay. Put this one on. Okay. Okay, there we go. That is our seven player. So now we're gonna flip this one over. away here. Okay, very carefully flip. That looks pretty good. And you know what you could do? Y'all, if you wanted to, instead of leaving all this white, all this white edge, you could even add washi tape. I wonder how that would look. So we have one green metallic, because green metallic is Christmassy. So I even have this stuff, this decorative stuff. Uh, now it's all, uh, could even add this stuff around it. But I think I'm going to add one of these on the front, like so chilly. Wonder if that would fit. Looks like it fits and just crimp the corners. A little bit, actually it looks like it fits. Just like so. I think that looks kind of cute. So that's what's on the other side of that one. I know I should have used that, huh? But then I wouldn't be able to use all the ephemera pieces that were in here.
They should have given us extra stuff in this. That's why I wanted the 12 by 12 because I would have had, we could have had, um, there, that looks better. That way it's not so naked. <laughs> so there, you have an, for these wings, did I tell you how to measure these? For the wing tips, for these, yeah, I can't remember. In case I forgot, hold that thought. These are three, and then the parts that are now covered. I would make them three by three and then score them at the quarter of an inch and you should be okay. I, I mean, you guys saw me. I'll have to look in the video and see where I scored it at and then I'll tell you what size and stuff. But I will finish the rest of this offline. And other than that, you guys have a great day. But this, this is it. I'll, again, I'll just finish this, but let's go through it real quick here before I say goodbye, but there it is. So that's the second layer. It's the third. There's our glittered pockets. So you can put in your little, you know, tag here. And then, oh, and then I forgot to tell you the seventh layer. Before I forget, let's do this. I'm... So you can take, let's see, what would look better? I don't know what would look better. What? Checkered? You can take a piece of, let's do this, or tan snowflakes. Well, I'm not doing those because I want the trucks. Oh, let's just do checkers. Those look pretty big because you want them about the same size as your, as your, you want them at least six inches by an inch or an inch and a half. Okay. So what you're going to do here, because you're going to make a banner, banner belt, what do you call them? Right. I forgot. See, I'm glad I remembered. So you're going to glue it one end. Glue it the other. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> it's like, and you can put this in the middle. Glue that. Okay, and then you're gonna do the same thing. Here. And then what you can do with this is you don't have to leave this one plain. You can actually take, let's see, where's where's the other ornament piece? Or you could even take here, let's do this. Ooh, I like that even better. Let's do that. So this would be the only one that you glue on all the way is this one. is the decorative piece on top. So then, I know on here I almost forgot. I'm fired. <laughs> There, this makes this plaid not look so droopy. There. Okay, and then you can actually slide, you know, slide this under, slide this under there. See? That is your banner, your banner thing going across. Isn't that what they call those? Banner? Banner? 
right? Banners, banner belts, banner covers that you put around a card. Isn't that what they call those? If I got it wrong, please tell me in the comments below. So also I will host my, I will not host, I will post my affiliate links down below in the description box. And as well, Spellbinders is having a sale of a sale, another sale, not a sale of a sale, but they're having a buy more, get more sale. They're having a, a see, buy one, get 20% off. Buy two, get 30% off. And buy three plus, get 40% off. Amazing Paper Grace Designs. So it's that Paper Grace Designs sale. I guess you wouldn't call it that. But also the buy more, get more sale. And I will post the link.